In case you haven't heard, mortgage rates are actually at all time, never before seen lows, which has really made me, along with most other mortgage lenders, kind of sound like a broken record for probably the last five years or so. I mean, really, when was the last time we didn't have all-time mortgage rate lows? Yeah, I know what you mean, Ben. It seems like rates have been at or near historically low rates for quite some time now. But if you want to learn something from history, historically low rates will eventually go up, and you're about to find out what high interest rates means to your clients. We call it the rate effect. I'm Ben Brashen. I'm Ryan Leopold. Welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. You're about to learn a simple solution to the complex problem of rising interest rates. Rates will go up, and a lot of people remember the 80s with 13 and 14% interest rates. Sure. But do you know how far you have to go back to find mortgage rates in the 7% range? Yeah. If rates go up that high anytime soon, it could really hurt the real estate market. But even if rates don't go that high, what would 1% or even 2% climb in interest rates mean to your clients? Well, I would say if rates go up even 1%, the buyers you're out showing houses to every weekend may not even be able to buy the house you've been showing them. Sure. I mean, imagine a 10% drop in purchase price they could really afford? Their frustration could keep them from buying a house at all. It really could. I mean, look at how many buyers are out there right now frustrated with the amount of buyers they're competing with. All of a sudden, buyers wish they could have bought a home back in September or October of last year. That's right. You know what I call that? The rear view mirror effect. It's like people who wish they bought a stock when it was at 6,000. People who wish they sold their house in 2007. Or people who wish they bought Apple stock before it became one of the biggest companies in the world. Now, when rates go up, people are going to think, hey, I wish I bought a house in 2012. Sure. The rear view mirror effect? Yeah, some people say hindsight's 2020. I say it's a rear view mirror effect. Okay, but really, interest rates will have a major effect on buyers' ability to purchase the home they want. Check out these charts. So if you take a look at this graph, you'll see that interest rates today are still in the high threes to low fours. But if you look back over the last 41 years, you can see that on average, interest rates tend to be for a 30 year fix between the six and the eight percent range. And at some periods of time, they've gotten in the teens. So our buyers really do need to understand that we are in unique times. Interest rates are incredibly low, the lowest they've ever been. We just don't know how long they're going to be there. As you can see, mortgage rates really are at all time lows. But you know, you don't have to go back to the 80s to find higher rates. I mean, just go back to 2001 and you'll see rates in the 7% range. Sure. Which actually does kind of seem like a long time ago because because the Mariners were good. In fact, that was the year they won 116 games. Oh, weren't those the days? Let's look at what those high rates would actually mean to your buyers. So we took, for a case of this argument, a purchase price of $350,000 and a loan amount of $350,000, and today's interest rates into low fours, at four and a quarter, that would equal a principal and interest payment of $17.21 today. And let's assume that's all they qualify for. That would equal, again, a purchase price of $350,000. If we bump that interest rate up to five and a quarter to keep their current payment the same at $17.21, that would now equal a purchase price of $3.11. And we went to an interest rate of six and a quarter and keep their payments the same at $17.21, that would equal a purchase price of $279,500. So you can see there's a significant drop off between $350,000 and $279,500 by a simple increase of one to 2% in interest rate. And that's why we call it the rate effect, because when you start looking at the effect of increasing interest rates, it can actually put the homes that people want to purchase completely out of reach. I mean, when clients are looking at $500,000 houses, and then rates go up, and they can only afford, say, $400,000, it's pretty tough for them to fall in love with that house that's $100,000 less, which really means that right now is an excellent time to buy because houses are more affordable due to the price of homes and mortgage rates. Yeah, it makes sense, Ben. Here are the three tips for you to help your clients deal with the rate effect. Number one, you or their lender should counsel buyers on what each 1% in interest rate means to their purchase power. Typically, each $100,000 borrowed will go up about $1,000 per year for each 1% raise in interest rate. Number two, you or their lender should update buyers weekly on changes in interest rates. Mortgage rates change on a daily basis and not knowing current rates can cost you your pre-approval. And last, number three, talk to your buyers about affordability. House prices may stay flat, but that doesn't mean affordability will. Often paying a little bit more for the house you want, but getting a great interest rate is actually less expensive over time. And that's how you help your buyers deal with the volatility of interest rates and the rate effect. So ultimately, you can help them purchase the home of their dreams. 
Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Mortgage Resource TV.